because of anger and jealousy, they killed everyone that they would later need. Because of anger, jealousy, and hate, they killed everyone that they would later need. God gave me this prophetic word. And when he gave me this word, what came to my spirit is the, spirit, the, the, the story of Saul. Why Saul was fighting David and going after David and all of that, it got to a point where he killed all the priests and the prophets in the land that could even hear God for him. I mean, he did not even think a day was going to come when he would need to hear the voice of God. And so he went after every prophet, every priest, to a point that when now he needed to, 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 to talk to someone, to a medium, he needed to know the mind of God. He needed, as a matter of fact, to be specific, he wanted to talk to Samuel. The prophet Samuel had already died. And there was no one that could give him that access. And so he went, can you imagine a king going to a witch? The Bible calls her the witch of Endor. To, to, to call for the spirit of Samuel to come talk to him. That desperation. God used this to tell me there are people in anger, you shoot yourself in the leg. Because you are so angry, because you are in rage, because you are jealous, you shoot yourself in the leg and later it affects you. You are the one who suffers. Every time you act out of anger, out of jealousy, you will surely regret it because it is not the will of God. It is not the ways of God. Every time you act out of anger, out of jealousy, you end up regretting. Look at what happened to Saul. He killed everyone that could be resourceful to him and had to resort to a medium to get to Samuel, the prophet Samuel. This is a call to, to someone. Always Put yourself together. Never let anger get the best part of you. Never let jealousy or envy get the best part of you. Do not take important decisions when you are angry. When you are angry, oh my goodness. When you are angry, do not take important decisions. Do not, do not just um, flip out of anger. All right? I know this is not easy, but you can, you can train yourself. You can train yourself to not do things when you're angry. You can train yourself. There are therapies. I was watching a video the other day and a, 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 a lady was complaining that she's always fighting with her husband. They always exchange words. And at the end of the day, the man might even get physical at her. And the therapist told her, whenever your husband starts talking to you, take a, a, a cup of water, sip from the, from the cup and leave the water in your mouth for until he finished talking so she did that every time her husband gets angry and is talking she would put the water in her mouth until when her husband finish, finishes talking she would drink it out, drink the water or pour it out and she noticed when she went back to the to the therapist she said my husband we've not been having such heated arguments i've been doing what you asked me to do what was the trick whenever the husband is talking there's water in her mouth so she doesn't talk and they don't get to fight. They don't get to identify like it was meant to be. And because you, she could control her anger, she controls the outcome of the things that happen in her house. I pray for you that God will help you to tame yourself. God will help you to control your anger in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.